Hey YouTube, it's Aldo Howard showing you how to make a miniature BB gun. Okay, so what you see here is what you see here is technically the supplies, you know, rubber bands, ammo, for BB or airsoft. Um, you know, tape. I use scotch tape because that's what I had, but you know, you don't have to use scotch, you can use electrical pliers, uh, lead pencil, mechanical lead pencil, and a pen. It can't be a cooking pen because it won't work, it won't turn out, trust me, just take my word for it. Okay, so what you see here is the supplies, and what you want to do is at first, the kind of pen I used didn't ha really have to, I didn't really have to use anything to take it out. I just had to twist this right here, twist, and pull, and then I just had to pop the back, and there you go, that's all you need, the two. Okay, so what you need now, of course, is, what you want to do with your lead pencil now, is pretty much crack it, like, with the tires or with whatever you're using. If it's just the kind of thing you have to twist and pull, twist and pull, and that's all, okay, then it saved you some time. But what I'm doing is to take it out. You see right here, you see I'm twisting, I'm hitting everything. So what you want to do now is, after you have a decent amount of, you know, cracking on this thing, you just want to, you can't, remember, you can't hurt the, you can't hurt the inside. You need to keep the in, the inside perfect. Okay, so what you see here now would be me. Okay, here I got the top off. And you see this black thing right here? Okay. But what you want to do with it is keep it. That's the thing you got to know. It's ready. So I pretty much cracked it pretty hard now, but and what you should end up with is this, you know. And here's the eraser. But what you want to do is now with the eraser, as you see, you see how there's nothing in it. Well, what you want to do is make a line. You don't have to, but I recommend doing it. Okay, so I. You could do it with a nail, with your knife, with whatever, but what you want to do is just make a pretty good dent in it. And you should come out with this. Okay, so what you want to do now is keep, put it back in, and the inside, of course, there was something in here, but I already broke it off. From the spring up, you need to break everything off, and so you could, so it could fit in. Now with this right here, I put it in like this, and the ammo should put it pretty fine. And as you see now, as you see now, it pretty much fit in perfectly. Maximum I would say is one, but if you stretch it out back and put them in, more should fit in. So what you want to do afterwards is get your... What you want to do afterwards is get your rubber bands and pretty much just do this following. You twist, put it in, twist, put it in, twist, put it in, and keep on doing that until it's pretty much good. Remember, it can't be too tight because if it's too tight, when you pull back, it should snap off. As you see right here, don't worry, it's kind of tricky to put it into the eraser but once it's in the second time it should be pretty good but you gotta do the same thing as you did with the first time first rubber band twist put it in twist put it in twist put it in remember it can't be too tight because it could snap off when you're shooting now what you want to do is it should come out like this but if you don't want to keep on holding it like this so you could shoot it won't work pretty much so what you want to do is get the tape pretty much 
get a decent amount of tape. Um, get it. Okay, so you tie it around it. Remember, this area right here has to be free. You can't block it or anything. So what you do afterwards is pretty much you're done with your rubber band and that kind of stuff. Now what you want to do is put it in and shoot. Now, as you can see, what it had, what it did with the damage, is pretty much made a hole in it. That's how powerful. If you add more rubber bands, of course, it would be way more powerful. But like I used to, but I twisted a bunch of times, so that's why it made it harder. But if you do more, like five, seven. It's pretty much impossible, but, you know, you never know. You always gotta try, but, you know, it will come out pretty good. The effects are really good. Huh? Now, now, I will be making more stuff. If, don't, if you want, just comment below, and you can subscribe, and comment below and say what you want me to make. And thanks for watching again.